Well, good morning, folks, and Happy yeah. New Year. January 1. All right, my tabletop's glued together. We've got the glue cleaned up. And I'm fixing to uh, trace around the outside edges. Probably make it, oh, maybe an inch or so wider than the rest of the table. I don't know, I might. Well, I may not overlap it. I'm not sure yet. Anyhow, there it is. We can get that traced, and then uh, I got to go pick up some Caesar this morning from a friend of mine who brought it back from his uh, lake spot. Get that done, and I got to get this cut out, and I. Uh, had to remove a guard off of this router so that I could get the router bits to fit through it. It's uh, one of those deals set up to catch uh, shavings for a vacuum cleaner and I'm really not sure I need it. I'm fixing to find out though when I make a couple of practice runs with it. But that's where we're at. We're fixing to uh, cut this top and uh, get it all shaped up and then I'll attach it. I'll have, I'll run some little strips in through here It'll give that top something to sit down into and stay secure. And then uh, if they go to move it, they'll be able to, to lift it off. And uh, there you go. So I'll uh, get this going, and uh, when I get it finished, I'll bring you back to have a little look. See you shortly. All right, now that I got that traced out, I'll need to get a ruler so I can connect the dots here. There, and then uh, that one in the middle. And that was because of uh, this stuff here. You see how that has some bracing and stuff. And my wife was talking about wanting to repaint this. And I don't know, I may wire brush some of the rust off of it and then just hit it with a clear a clear lacquer out of a rattle can and kind of leave that leave that patina look. And I think that would, my opinion, it would go better with uh, having the top um, gone over with a blowtorch and kind of uh, burning the grains like I did on this practice. Tripping over a tripod now. I gotta get this shithole cleaned up and get my router jointer up off the ground. Anyway, that's where we're at. I'll connect the dots, fix them to take a quick break, be gone for about an hour or so to pick up some, some cedar logs so I can mill them. Alright, I'll bring you back shortly. Well, hello again. Just got back from a buddy of mine's house. <clears throat> he had a big cedar log. I went and picked it up. I'm gonna get my chainsaw mill after it as soon as I find the motivation to do so. But it's 24 degrees outside, and I know up north that's nothing. That's a shorts and flip flops, but down here it's not. So I went and got the uh, propane heater out, fired it up, and it's really doing a nice job knocking the chill out of this garage. So now that it's the chill's been knocked off a little bit. I'm going to get back to work. Get that cut. Found the bit for the router. Get it put together and uh, get to uh, doctoring this uh, tabletop up. So when I get that done, I'll bring you back. Let you have a peek. See you shortly. All right, it's not perfect. I uh, colored outside of the line, I guess, and I left that little deal. I'm hoping some of that will route out. 
And then I gotta fill in a little bit right in through here with some glue. That turned out to be the better side. But it's not bad. Not bad for uh, using a jigsaw. Who says you have to have a million dollars worth of tools to make a decent looking piece of refurb furniture or whatever. That's what this is about. Kind of like the red dirt music movement. Since country music's not country music anymore. There's always the alternatives. Anyhow, I'm going to take that top back off there and get my router out. And I've got it all set and adjusted and ready to go. And uh, we'll put a, a decent little edge on the top of it. And get that bottom one done as well. Get it sanded and, and uh, then I'm going to take some of this scrap and practice with that uh, blowtorch. Because I don't want to get up here and completely mess this thing up. Anyhow, when I get some more work done to this, I'll bring you back and let you have a peek. This is my not-so-perfect router job. I, uh, I think that bit's dull. It was given to me by a buddy of mine. And, uh, I haven't invested in it yet, but that at least gives a nice edge. I got that spot right there that I'll have to, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna try to do is glue it and try to make the best of it. Since that's on the back of it. But uh, yeah, that's what happens when you're not paying attention and you're looking at the wrong, wrong part of the jigsaw, but wood is a little more forgiving. And like I said, I can glue that and, you know, it's, like, it's not going to be perfect, but, you know, this is, uh, again, falling in the uh, category of, uh, of refurbished, might as well call it barn furniture since it was found close to a barn, and we'll just call it that. Anyhow, I've got this other shelf to run the router on. After I get that done, then I'm going to take some of that scrap, like I said earlier, and uh, burn up some butane. Alright, that's done. I'll bring you back. Alright, there's the bottom shelf. So I've got to sand it and clean it up. But I got the ev the uh, the evils bevved, the edges beveled. Get that cleaned up. Get it sanded and get try to get some of the burn marks off of it, and then uh, we'll uh, begin the next phase. Anyway. Kind of a loss for words. I had to had to take my jacket off that, uh, and turn that thing down to low. It's just going to run you out of this garage. That old heater works good. I forget what brand it is. What is that? Okay, Remington. I think I got that. I think I got it from Lowe's. <coughs> Excuse me. It works good. I can't use it in my 10 by 12 shop, but it'll completely run you out of there, and that's just on one, uh, just ru running one burner. Anyway, I'm going to get back to work. See you shortly. Alright, welcome back again. This is that bottom shelf. And I managed to uh, get all the uh, burns out of that wood that were uh, left by that router blade. And uh, I just finished sanding it with 220. And I'll set it aside. This one here, 
I had that spot where I got stupid with the uh, with following the lines. So it's uh, I've got it glued, and uh, when that glue dries, I'll sand this shelf and get it ready to to either burn and clear coat or clear coat. I haven't decided yet because I. Uh, I don't want to mess this thing up. I know that I can at least sand it out if I make a mistake. But uh, that's why I've got this scrap wood. I'm going to use it to practice. So I'm going to get that started, get some practicing going, and and uh, get it to where I just get the uh, the grain burnt and the rest of it alone, left alone. That's nice and smooth and. Like I said, I'm pretty happy with it. That's not bad for just a jigsaw and a router to get that. It's not bad at all. I don't have the fancy router tables or sanding tables and all that other stuff. I just gotta, this is all, I guess you'd call it free-handed with some of the power tools. But, uh, yeah, there's the bottom shelf, so I'll, uh, Get busy and get the rest of it done. All right, good afternoon, folks. I got to be leaving for work here in probably about 15 minutes. Then I come out here to finish up the last part of the sanding. I got all the burnt uh, burnt marks off the edges of that from the uh, router, and I added a little more glue to kind of fill in the gaps a little bit on this seam. It's a little bit better than it was, and it's uh, actually ready for top coat. What I uh, plan on doing, I'm going to flip this over, set that on top of it, and uh, drill it for some, uh, drill it for some, yeah, some dowels so that it won't slide off the top of that table. And then the other, I'm going to set, uh, set down, see if I can clamp it. Not sure. I'll figure something out and uh, mark it. Where it's got those holes there, there's three of them on where uh, those suction cups used to sit for that glass. And I will uh, see about uh, putting some dowel pins in that too so that that bottom shelf will just sit in them holes. But uh, that and I planning on taking a wire brush and maybe getting some of that rust off of it and then just spraying a clear coat. I don't know if we're going to repaint this or not. I still haven't decided. Anyhow, I'm going to get off here. Uh, I'll bring you back when I get the top coat put on that and uh, get it ready to sit in. So we'll see you shortly. Well, good afternoon, folks. I'm back in the garage. Relocated the heater. And I had to get out of my sweatshirt. It was warm. Uh, we've got liberal leave offered to us today, so uh, I think I'm going to take advantage of that. Have a day off here on uh, Thursday. Had a cut. Had a had some snow come through, and I guess there's some some more coming. And uh, I'd rather just stay at the house and not chance it. But uh, what I'm fixing to do now is drill a couple of holes, probably four and use this dowel and uh, put a put a dowel pin here and here and on the this back side to kind of keep this I might put uh, I might put six in there put here in the corners that way it stays centrally located and doesn't slide around too much but uh, I'm fixing to get that started and then uh, I'm going to do the same thing. We got these holes here. Uh, there it is. And I'm going to 
set the bottom shelf on there so I can drill and, well, at least mark it and drill and pin it. Get rid of that old suction cup. So I'm going to get started. I'll bring you back. I'm going to make some progress. And then once I get that done, then I'll put the, the top coat on this uh, upper shelf. And then we're still debating on whether or not to uh, throw some paint. Oh, I didn't know this had some adjustable feet. Looks like we're missing some. So I'll take this one out, go to the hardware store and see if I can find some replacements for it. That way it can be leveled if it needs to be. Anyway, I'll bring you back when I get some work done. All right, I got the hose drilled. I had to mark them and then to take the tabletop off because, you know, as luck would have it, the drill bits are a little shorter than uh, than the uh, section of the table. But there those are. Those are finished. This thing's ready to flip over and, and uh, put the clear coat on. I need to uh, get that other shelf and get it. I'm going to have to mark it because, again, I've got stuff in the way. So I'm going to have to be as precise as I possibly can to, to make that work. So I'll get started on it. Bring you back when I get some progress made. Well, I was going to do the same thing and pin this bottom shelf, but it's, uh, well, I don't, it's <clears throat> slightly off center, but it would put the uh, pegs right at the edge, and I don't think that would uh, turn out. I'd probably end up messing the shelf up. I could pull it over just a little bit. That puts that right on the edge and exposes the side, so. We won't be able to do that. Uh, unless I did something different. But then it, uh, just, I just had a quick idea, but it would raise the top and you'd still see you'd see it. So we're just going to leave it be. And it can just sit in there. Um, <clears throat> I'll put some sort of felt or something uh, down on top of the on the metal to keep it from sliding around and that should uh, that should take care of that and uh, I <clears throat> haven't tried my top out yet to see if I was holding my mouth right I did take some rust off of it I thought about just uh, clear coating that and leaving the patina but I'm not sure now I may go ahead and uh, find a, a color probably painted black and, uh, just do it that way or I don't think any other color would really look good with it anyhow when I get uh, some more done with it I'll bring you back and let you have a peek alright now this is the top and uh, this worked it makes it stable but I'm gonna have to get my uh, little saw and cut my dowel rods off to be even with the metal here. So that is unsightly. You can tell that the uh, either the wood's not uh, perfectly planed or that top is just crooked. And I would imagine it's just the top. But I think that's going to be really nice. It's going to make somebody a nice sofa table or, or just something they can put up against the wall and display some flowers and pictures of the kids or something on. Anyhow, I'm going to continue on and I'll bring you back when I get her finished. Hello folks, welcome back. Top's dry. Let's 
Turned out nice. Can't figure out though if we want a clear coat, if we just want to paint it. Paint the thing black. Gold. Ah, who knows? I'm sure my wife will come up with something, but there's a spot. I put a little clear coat on. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. Let me, uh... Yeah, it was right there. Not sure if that's what we want to do or not. But, uh, not bad. Salvaged it, uh, salvaged out of a, uh, scrap trailer. I figure out what we're going to do. I'll bring you back and let you know. I think we may have it painted, painted by then, so we'll see. See you shortly. Well, good evening folks welcome back this is the sofa table upside down I just finished painting this bottom side with this uh, rust-oleum forge hammered uh, it's a paint and primer all-in-one and it gives it that uh, hammered look it's uh, colors chestnut it's uh, darker than the copper but it's lighter than the bronze and we were hoping, and we we're hoping that this is the right color to kind of set off the uh, the ash top and uh, bottom shelf. So I'm waiting on this to dry. Then I will flip it right side up and uh, paint the upper side and call her good. Then I'll put this up for sale. Hopefully I can get a buyer for it. It's really, really turned out nice. And uh, somebody will have a nice sofa table for years to come. So anyway, I'll bring you back when I get the, uh, when I get it turned over and get it painted and get it put back together. See you shortly. All right, flipped it over and I got the top painted. This thing is going to be gorgeous. It's still drying, but I am uh, looking forward to getting the shelves put back on it and having another look at this. This is going to be nice. My wife is already threatening to find a spot for it in the house and that's not what the intentions were when I pulled this from that uh, scrap iron trailer I think it turned out really well and I like the uh, the color we use is chestnut it's a uh, Rust-Oleum Universal Advanced Formula Forge Hammered uh, Paint and Primer in One. I don't really 
care for the trigger. I wish they made this in a in a quart form where I could pour it into a paint gun, but it worked. It uh, took two cans to do this. Tomorrow, uh, when it's good and dry, I will uh, put it back down on the ground and, and bring my shelves back out and put this thing back together and take some more pictures and the uh, final video segment of this. And we're going to call this done and, and hopefully I'm figuring maybe 75 bucks. I don't think that's uh, unreasonable considering I'm, you know, that the shelves are made out of ash. So, anyway, as soon as I, this, uh, let's try this again in, in, in proper English. As soon as this thing gets dry and I can get the shelves back on it, I will bring you back, do some more video and some uh, pictures, and we'll call it good. So, I'll see you shortly. All right, folks, there it is. Good as new. Of course, the lighting in this garage is not the best, but it's going to make a nice table for somebody. All right, that's going to bring a close to this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Share it, um, like it, and please subscribe if you like this, this kind of stuff. I've got a lot of different project videos. And uh, hopefully we're going to get back outside and do some more uh, hunting and fishing. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful evening and I will catch you on the next video.